Welcome to our latest conversion project. We just completed a box truck. So let me give you a tour. Come on in. We've got a galley kitchen, a Murphy bed, a standing desk that looks out a window, a wood burning stove, tons of storage, lots of character. Um, so I'm just gonna start from the back. Um, we installed a new custom door. Over here, we've got our storage unit and Murphy bed, starting with our bench down here. Super nice area, lounge, do whatever you want. You also have storage under here and under the Mur Murphy bed. So then I'll close that. Um, okay, so here is the bed, here's how it works. These are dual purpose. They are both the bed's legs, but they're also shelves when you're cooking or you've got a lot going on. Um, these are lockable, so you want them to be a little tough to pull up so that they're sturdy when you pull the bed down. Um, so then over here, you just bring this bed down, and there you go. You've got a nice twin bed that is hidden, and you can keep it made. Um, super functional because it saves so much space. Uh, we did one of those elevator beds in the last conversion we did, and then... Um, did a couple stationary beds, but this is the first Murphy bed and we're totally into it. We want to put them all over our house, but it just looks so good and so clean and you can keep your bed made. And all you do is just when you're done with it, flip it back up. And then before you drive, we do have these lockable pins that you just pin right in and that'll keep it in. In addition, the weight and the hardware that it's um, supported by will also keep it from coming out um, and then you can either leave these up as shelves working spaces whatever you want um, or you just lock them back down into place and then above the Murphy bed we were going to do um, some closed storage with like doors and stuff but you're just short on space in here and this box truck is a little shorter in height than some of the vans that we've done. So we instead opted for just like a little organizing system that you can put baskets in or bulkier items that don't need to be in a basket. Leaves it a bit more flexible. Um, back here, this was a specific request from the client. She had this cleat wall and she has, you know, all the supplies that she needs at home to put all of her um, cooking supplies, food, whatever you want. She'll put it on this wall. Here is our light switch to the LED puck lights that we have on the ceiling. We also have two um, Max Air fans, one near the propane stove and one near the shower. Um, over here, these are two units that our client actually came to us with this kind of um, mint greenish antique blue and this fridge and she said whatever you do you have to use these two units come up with a design show me what you can do with them so that's really what our design was centered on um, we chose a really rich like chocolatey wood um, and then a lighter walnut countertop um, to complement them. And then over here, we've got our propane stove top, which is hooked up to a tank that is underneath the truck. Um, and then our water system is actually housed here as well with some additional storage. So we always do a foot pump water system. We just think that it conserves the most water. It's the most user friendly. If there's ever something that goes wrong, it's pretty easy to navigate and figure out what it was. It's also easy to clean and refill and use. Um, so then our deep sink, you can hide your dishes in here or whatever. Um, a cute little gooseneck faucet. Then we just put some decor up here to show We've got our outlet over here. So your appliances, whatever you need, you plug them in and you can cook right here. That is all connected to our battery system, which is housed down here. This is an EcoFlow. She has both the, um, the power system as well as a backup battery. Um, she also has a larger one at home that she'll use for longer trips, but this will be good for kind of weekend getaways. And that's vented and then the fridge is also connected to that as well and then over here we have a standing desk which is awesome the original owners who started converting this truck um, we're gonna do kind of like a food truck so they installed this um, our client was like I want to keep this this is cool and I agree I think it's a really nice window that offers some shade too when you're working at your desk and then this pops down and locks in place so it doesn't rattle when you drive. And then over here, we've got this little wood burning stove. Um, it was 
very neglected when it first came to us and very sad. This was the saddest corner in here. Um, so we cleaned this up, we fixed the cement board backing, and then we actually got this tile from um, Restore. And then we saved these tiles from previous projects that were scrap pieces, they weren't full tiles, and we cut them into smaller two by two squares to create a pattern. We literally used every last scrap of tile to finish this design. We were so close to not having enough, um, but we did, and we love the way that it turned out and think that it just looks so cute in here. Um, so that's the fireplace. And then up here, we've got tons of open storage. Um, she'll be able to put baskets up there, some bulkier items, heavier items that she probably doesn't want rolling around in here. And it, everything is secured with heavy duty magnets. Uh, and then one note about the hardware, we just remodeled a house that we did um, kind of like a Facebook furniture flip with. And these came off of the vanity that we used in that house. So we were happy to repurpose them. They're really, really cool solid wood pieces. Um, then over here is the shower. Uh, clearly there's no plumbing yet. That is going to be phase two. So what we did was we created a pony wall where that plumbing will go, but we did install a drain and a gray water tank. So all we need to do is just put a little shower curtain up. She'll have a solar shower bag that she can use as a kind of temporary solution. And then when she's ready to come back, we will cut open this pony wall and finish making this a fully functional shower. And then yeah, back into this lovely galley kitchen that is honestly bigger than some apartments, most apartments in New York, for instance. <laughs> and then the Murphy bed and lounge area. So thank you so much for watching and let us know if you have any questions about the process or how we did things in a box truck versus like a van or a trailer. And we'd love to chat with you.